Hey guys, I wanted to make a cover for a hot water bottle and my heating pad. So I have this sweater that doesn't fit and I plan to use it. So I'm just going to lay the heating pad on top of the sweater and I'm going to cut it right along the edge doesn't have to be perfect This heating pad actually had a cover for it, this one, but it's too big and slippery and every time I use it, it just slides out, even with the button, the button comes undone, so I want to make my own. And it'll look prettier, and it'll be comfy. So I'm going to save this for the hot water bottle project. Now this sweater already has um, slits on the bottom of it. So the one side I'm going to leave it open so that the cord can go through it when I put it in. So I'm just going to sew the one side that I cut. So I sewed all three sides and most of the fourth side. I just left a little bit of a hole to put the heating pad through and to have the cord hanging out of. So how I'm going to put the heating pad in is I'm going to just kind of roll it and I'm going to put it into the opening. And then once I get it in there, I'm just going to kind of flatten it out. And then the cord comes out the little hole in the top. And now I have a heating pad cover. It's not perfect, but it's cozy. Okay, so for the hot water bottle, I'm going to use the neck of the sweater so that it's open and you can just slide the hot water bottle in. So I'm going to cut all around the hot water bottle, leave a little bit, like half an inch for sewing and I'll go all around the edges except for the neck of the sweater. Okay, so here I've sewn all the edges except for the neck of the sweater. So I'm gonna put the hot water bottle in. It's like a pillowcase. <laughs> and this sweater is kind of stretchy, so it'll sit nicely on the neck 
of the water bottle. Love it. And I still have the arms left of the sweater, so I'm thinking I might do some boot socks for myself. We'll see. Thanks for watching.